toys. We all grew up with them. Barbie, the Ninja Turtles, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, the random plastic animals that you get in the zoo gift shop. And as a child of the 80s, it is needless to say that I hold a very special place in my heart for toys. So when Martian Toys reached out to me to ask if I wanted to put my art on a bunch of their totally wicked designer toys for a gallery art show, I jumped at a chance. Now I just have to figure out exactly what it is that I'm going to do with all these little guys and fast. So let's dive in and customize some crazy sweet toys today on Cat Leapin's Art. Pushing aside the terrifying fact that I have never customized a vinyl toy in my life, I went ahead and said yes. So Martian shipped a box full of toys to my studio for me to begin painting, sculpting, and customizing them in any crazy way that I can come up with. And once they're all done, I'll ship them back to Philly to be part of a group show of fellow Chicago artists at their Mothership Toy Gallery. And with the show just two months away, I really need to get my together. So I'm gonna start by priming these guys while I decide what I'm gonna be painting on them. Come with me. So we're starting with priming our toys bright white because I use fluorescent paint. The fluorescents that I use are semi-translucent. So if the background isn't bright white, the results are gonna look muddy and not as bright and neon as I like my pieces to be. We made sure that the toys are pretty clean before laying down our white spray paint. to give my primer a good healthy amount of time to dry before I start applying any of my fluorescent paint. So I'm going to let this dry overnight before slapping down any of those bright acrylic paints that I like to use. <laughs> Alright my friends, it is now time to talk about matte medium. Well why the heck do we use matte medium you might ask? And I would answer, because you want your acrylic paint to stick to your primer, don't you? And this stuff is clear, it's hard to mess up, so just brush it on your piece, wait for it to dry, and then get on with your painting business. And now it's time for the part you've all been waiting for. Let's get to painting.
let's chat about my inspiration for the second toy, the apple of my eye, the joy in my life, the American gentleman, my Boston Terrier puppy, Bruce. I mean, just look at that pouty lip. He is Mr. Personality and absolutely deserves to be immortalized as a rockin' vinyl toy. So I'm gonna start this one off by sketching using Procreate on my iPad, and then use light pencil lines to transfer my design onto the actual toy itself, then paint him up. And now let's put this together with some crispy black outlines. The toys are all painted, but don't think that we're done just yet. Yeah, you, don't go anywhere. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part, that delicious, ooey, gooey, clear epoxy resin coating. Before we get to the pour, we have a little prep work to do. First, we're gonna start by propping up our toys so that the epoxy can run off and not stick the toy to the surface that it's sitting on, because who wants a toy stuck to a piece of cardboard? Not me. And as always, it's safety first. I recommend wearing gloves and a respirator mask, especially if you are allergic to epoxy resin and its fumes. But today we're using Maker Epoxy, a two-part epoxy resin from Total Boat. Part A is the resin part of the mix and part B is the hardener. Gently stir the two parts together and get ready for that oh-so-satisfying epoxy pour. Now your resin's cure time might vary depending upon the temperature of the space that you're working in. So go ahead and look at the label on the Maker Epoxy to make sure that you're allowing for the proper amount of cure time before handling your project. <laughs> 
two days later and I think these guys are looking like they've fully cured. At this point, they don't feel sticky and I'm not leaving any fingerprints. Now I still have a lot to do to get the rest of my toys ready to be shown by Martian and Philly, but I think we're ready to reveal the finished shots of these two toys. Let's take a look. If you dig these toys and would like to own one, they're going to be available on the Martian Toys website starting at the end of June. I really enjoyed painting these. I'm so glad it all worked out. And now we get to crank it up a notch and do some sculpting on vinyl toys in my next video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and belling and giving me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching Cat Leap and Zard.